Hey everybody, Propboy1 here, and welcome back to another review. And in today's review, we will be taking a look at the original version, the original 2013 version, of the Spirit Halloween Tacky Toys Lynn Eating Zombie Boy. Now first we can take a look at the box. Here's the front. Side, remember both sides are the exact same. In the back with a little more information. Before we start, I would also like to let you know that I did buy this guy knowing that his head turning was a little messed up, so that is why his head is not centered correctly, but that's okay. So without further ado, let's get started, and we'll first take a look at detail. Starting at the feet, Lim Eating Zagoy wears a pair of black and tan shoes which look very dirty. He has a pair of stained blue pants on, and he has a gray button-up shirt with a lot of blood stains towards the top. His gray rotting hands have some blood on them from the severed arm. His victim's arm doesn't have, it has some cool detail, but then up here it gets really cool with the snapped bone and the gouges in it from where he's been eating it. We can also see the blood stains on his shirt. And he has a good amount of blood stains on the teeth and the mouth. His skin shows sign of rotten decay and he has a pair, he has some really nice kept black hair. Aside from him needing just a little more blood, I think Lim Eating Zombie Boy's detail looks really cool. Now the zombie's entire frame is made out of metal. The feet, hands, the victim's arm, and the controls are all made out of plastic. A very heavy duty durable plastic at that. His clothes are typical prop fabric, and his head is all latex, just like Rosemary. Now, for being an earlier Techie Toys prop with a lot of movement, I haven't seen a whole lot of these guys really busted or broken. I've seen him in person before, and that one was never broken, and I've seen him in plenty of videos, and I really don't recall seeing any broken. Maybe I've seen one out of the 20 that I've seen on videos that are actually not working. So with him not breaking a whole lot and with his advanced movement, that is a very good sign of good quality. Now, let's take a look at what he does. As we saw, once activated, Limb Eating Zombie Boy will moan and groan at you as he looks around and then his head will go down to bite the arm. His eyes light up white and his mouth will move during his whole sequence. Now I do think Limb Eating Zombie Boy is a very disturbing animatronic. Around me at least, usually when people come to my haunt, they seem to be the most disturbed after the props that are modeled after younger children. And not only is this prop designed after a little kid, but it's eating an arm, which kind of makes it just a little more disturbing. Just knowing that this kid was once innocent and now he's crouching down eating on someone else's arm, I don't know, just the whole idea of a little boy eating a severed arm is just really disturbing, and I think that could definitely scare visitors in a haunted house. Plus with all of his animations, and he has a lot of animations, a lot more than most props today, I think he will definitely disturb a lot of visitors that will come and see him. Now in 2013, Limiting Zombie Boy retailed for $150, however in 2014 he raised up to $160. Do I think he's worth any of those prices? I don't think he's worth $160, but I just barely think he could pass for $150. You're getting a pretty high quality prop with a lot of cool details, but really the only thing is his size. Limiting Zombie Boy is a fairly small animatronic. 
If I were to reprice Limb Eating Zombie Boy at all, I would say I would probably throw him at $140, just because of his size. He is not that big, I know he's not supposed to be that big, but I don't know, for $150 I would just want something a little bigger. Plus, his quality, he can break after a pretty long time, and I just think he could use a little more detail. So with those little things, I think he'd be worth $150, but I'm just going to bump down his price to $140 for now. To conclude this review, if I were to rate Limb Eating Zombie Boy out of 1 to 10, I would give him a very high score of an 8.5 out of 10. The only thing I would really do is I would give him just a little more blood. If you're, not, if you're gnawing on a severed arm, you need a little more blood around you. So tell me what you think of Limb Eating Zombie Boy down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.